Come on. Let's get this thing going. We have a kayak trip planned today. And I'm with people, so hopefully somebody does something exciting today where I don't have to carry the whole video. Just kidding. They're gonna do their own videos. Let's show you who we got. My man, Aaron. Aaron's outdoors. Chris, going down the Coey River. I guess I can go ahead and say it. It's a pretty famous public area. Water's low, it's gonna come up in a little while, but we're gonna get in while it's low. Super clear water. Beautiful, beautiful stream to be in, but you gotta get it at the right timing for sure. Look at that. Oh, yes, sir. It's gonna be good. Getting the kayaks ready to go, about to get in. I have some small stuff. Oh! Woo! <laughs> uh, I've made three casts. I don't know. I guess they ain't biting today. Wait, did I get one already? I got a fish! Green sunfish. I have no idea how it got hooked. Hey, right, that's, that's what I like. He was biting it like three or four times. He's got like a scar on him. I think something tried to eat him before. There we go. That's exactly where I caught one last time. Exact same spot. It's a nice pass. It's a solid spot. I forgot I didn't put a battery in my front camera. Let me put a battery in it. Good spot of bass to start out with. 16 and a quarter. Number one, 16 and a quarter. Just gonna kind of keep on drifting here. Good start. Woo, go Chris. Now everybody's already hooked up. We've been in about 10 minutes. Everybody's already caught fish. Chris is back there. Well, that was a first good bass, and that's what kind of fish I want. There's a lot of 16, 17, 18, 20 inches spotted bass, like good spotted bass in here. But I definitely want to try to catch some, uh, maybe some topwater ones, and I got some other lures to throw. I don't know. I'm going to mix it around. That first one was on a Nico uh, Ikanago worm, and it's that pink one. I've caught some good fish on it before. So we may, we may go back to it, but we'll, we'll might be switching through, going through different lures, just also enjoying the beauty. Yeah, I might. I could probably catch one on that big lure. I just don't really want to use it yet. I know, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to try it. I don't have my big lure box, so I should put some of the big lure I want to get, I want to catch a few other ones and just like get downstream a little bit. And then at the very end, it gets, it gets a lot slower. There we go. Oh, nice. On the chopo? Yep. Go. On Aaron's lure, the chopo. Good spotted bass. On my new combo too. Nice. Well, front camera's still not working. Another solid little one. He's got a messed up face there. He's been caught probably. And that was on the top water. So we got some face to the top water now. Oh, ow, bin me. Alright, get back in there. Like you just watching them. There we go. Oh yeah. There they are on fire. That's what I'm talking about. Too bad my front camera is not working. I'll Work on it later. I just can't get it to go. YouTuber problem. YouTuber problem. It's all right though, we're having an awesome day fishing. Hey, thanks for watching this video. And real quick, a word from our sponsor. And today's sponsor for this video is uh, me. I'm actually it. So yeah, so to help me out, smash that like button as they say. So um, yeah, if it's, um, at all possible and you can put a little effort into clicking the like and if you like these videos subscribing really helps too so 
I just wanted to put that out there. No, don't want to force you. Don't want to make anybody do anything because a lot of times people get upset later and then they like to unsubscribe. And so if you like us, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Back to the video. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Come on. I'm watching this fish come over and look at my lure. Eat it. Oh my goodness. His mouth was on it and he wouldn't bite it. All right, third fish of the day. It was 16 and three quarters. Solid fish. Probably gonna kick off like really hard in a sec. There it goes. Got a brand new GoPro and it just won't work. I don't know what's going on. Changed the SD card, changed the battery, but I won't, won't let it stop me from having a good time. So we're only a, like a mile or so in, already caught some fish. It's getting, it's kind of shallow, but at some point that, that water may catch up to us and get pretty high, but I think we'll be far downstream by then. So let's just get back to vision. There's a trailer in the road. Somehow I got away from somebody at one of the ramps. I don't see how else it could have got in here. I mean, I mean like, how did it come loose from somebody too? That is actually a solid trailer. Somebody, somebody was missing it and where it's at in the river. Who lost the net? Who lost the net? I did. I just found this net. Is this anybody's? That's mine. Is it? How it came out, I don't know. I just looked down and saw it. I was like, hey, I found a net. It's actually Chris's net. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. I haven't got one in a minute. But I've gotten lots of bites from fish that are mostly small, like this. Little spot. Do I have a fish? I think I got one. I didn't know he was on there. Yeah. I got a couple another little ones. Oh, we're getting smaller. That one's a very little Oh, get out of there. Got me in the tree. Oh. Yeah, he's a little feisty one. About a 10 inch. Do what? Are you yeah, I'm stopping right here. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. Right at the shoals. That's, that's a good one. I saw him come get it. He chased off a minnow and then he came and ate my lure. Is that a large bass? Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you a uh, video of this real quick since I'm stopping anyways. Well, we're just about to take a break and I flipped over here and I got my first largemouth. There is largemouth in here and we're getting closer towards the end of the river where it runs into the Hawassi. And it's about 15 inch. Came over and hit that little Nico Ikanago worm. But a good healthy fish. We're gonna stop here and get a, take a break and I might try to fly my drone and probably do some swimming. It's been pretty hot. There we go. John's trying out the Sholey. Yeah, that feels good. Oh. My candy bar is frozen. All right, break time's over, but I'm gonna lay out my candy bar that's frozen. And my Mountain Dew. We got some deep water to fish. Hopefully a couple more. Love to get a giant out of here. Yeah, this is a kind of a dead zone. It's just big, long, deep stretch. 
can kind of try to fish it or just kind of never know what's going to be in here. Dude, tons of shad up in here though. You can see there'll be some giant fish chasing them. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. I see a big one, hold on, hold on. Got it, got it. It's a big one. It's a big one. I got it. As long as he doesn't take me in the tree over here. Dude, it's a big one. Thick fish. All right, hold on, hold on. That was a large mouth or spot. Yes. Oh my. I'm about to be in there. Everything's all tangled up. Get in the tree. Dude, I watched that guy come out the bank like 10 feet, come over. Four pounder, maybe? I don't know. All right, this guy, I watched him come out the bank and eat it. What a river bass. Oh man, I thought it might have been a spot, but it's a largemouth. And um, yeah, no tooth patch. Big body on him though, built good. 20 and a quarter, so that's a big boy. Oh, I wonder if you're, I gotta weigh him. Well, oh, nice, it says 410, so I think that thing's four ounces, so he's four pounds, six ounces. Almost four and a half pounder. That's a good river bass, so. Man, I'm happy to get that guy. We are getting close to the end. There could be a couple more giants or that could be the last fish today, so let's get it back in the water. Oh, look at that. That's a nice fish. Can't really see it. There you go. Oh, there he is. That's what we needed right there. He's sitting right over there. You can tell he's a big fish just sitting out there. It's crazy. After seeing all those all those other little ones today. Well, I tried the chatterbait and then I threw the mag drive for a couple minutes. I went back to my yum dinger and he came 10, 15 feet off the bank to come get it. <laughs> Thanks to Aaron for having his camera ready because I, I don't have my front camera so I don't get a good view, but it's cool to be able to get a good view, especially to get a good fish like that. And Man, I've watched that fish come eat it. That was such a cool catch. And I've thrown lots of different lures. Go back to this little thing right here and they come out and get it. I don't know what it is, but they come out for it. This, is, this, this bend up here is where I saw a striper last summer. It had to be like a 40 pound fit. It was so big sitting on the... Oh! Oh! Solid fish! Holy cow! Another good one! He threw my lure off. Dude, this is like a two and a half pounder. Like two minutes after I caught that other one. Oh, you know what? I may be out of yum dingers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come get him. That one, I just put that one on and he threw it off when I caught him. I don't mind wasting them though, catching fish like this. Check that out. That's a two and a quarter probably. These guys are solid. He's 16 and a half. But a Big body on it. Oh, and there he is. I only brought a few of the orange and bubblegum swirl yum dingers, but Chris said he has a few more. Well, I got a couple of extra yum dingers off, off Chris because um, uh, I didn't bring a lot and I intentionally didn't want to bring a lot of lures today, but I got to throw them catching fish. I wasn't expecting to catch any really through here and then I caught two biggest fish of the day right here. We got this nice little bend and we're gonna have to go up the Hawassi just a bit to get back to our truck. So not a long stretch, but a lot of water through here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Something big swimming right in the middle of us. I barely see it. It's dark and brown. It could have been any kind of fish, I don't know. I don't know if you followed my chatterbait or just 
something huge sitting through there. Oh, there's one. I finally got a fish on the chatterbait. Woo! I got a fish on the chatterbait. I've been trying to use it more. It's supposed to pull out big fish, but instead it got me a little, little and. And we are pulling up to the ramp, just fishing the last couple ledges. I got me a nice spotted bass, about, uh, let's see, 12, 13 inch. My back camera overheated. So, cause we, I had it running for like four and a half hours straight. So, hey, got a little camera problems, a little bit of difficulties on stuff, but great day of fishing and just good time for sure. Alrighty. That's uh, gonna be it. We've been around, uh, it was like close to five hours on the water. We stopped and everything. And I don't know if you can see, we just got down. We went ahead and put our kayaks up the uh, hill. Chris, your kayak's at Old Town. Topwater 120. Topwater 120. Basically same thing as my kayak, except without the pedal drive system. So they're close to the same weight. They do pretty good in this type of water. And um, so I got to try out Aaron's uh, kayak, the Crescent uh, Sholey. And it's definitely made more for cutting through the current. It's made more for paddling. So I could paddle it like a lot faster than I could mine. Mine's a little more stable like at the get go, but it's actually pretty easy. To, they're both made to stand up and fish out of. <laughs> yeah, pretty tired here. Good day of fishing. The Yumdinger did it again for me. I tried other lures and tried other stuff. Also, I caught a few on the Nico Ikenago worm, the pink one, but Aaron, what'd you catch most of your stuff on? Uh, the Helgramite. He used a, yeah, he used a Nico Helgramite and that's most of them. Most of those fish were down in there and we fished it while the current was slow. So these fish really weren't probably most aggressive like I, I think they get more aggressive as the water and the water comes up but we still caught uh, plenty of fish Chris I don't even know what he caught he was back there dilly-dallying so I'll have to go watch his video but be sure to check out Chris's channel and Aaron's channel if you haven't already and uh, thanks for watching